for CFO, I will, I will do my prep, I will make sure that it's there. I do something very interesting. I bring customers. So my customers come to the show. My customers participate. So what happens is, is I'm talking to somebody and they say, oh yeah, I talked to this person from ADM, okay, and they blah, 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 and I go, oh yeah, Julie, I know her, she's my customer. My customers, now you can talk to Marcus Evans about this, my customers do panel presentations. So at the next, um, at the next Marcus Evans, I'm gonna have three customers on a panel who are not gonna be pitching what I sell, who are not gonna be talking about me. They're gonna be talking about the extraordinary things they've, did, they've done and the good things that have happened. Later on, I will be talking to somebody and I'll say, what did you think about what Ron set up on stage? Oh, that was really amazing the way he did it. Would you like to meet with him? Ron happens to be one of my clients. We've been working together for a while. I'd be happy for you to talk to him. Okay. That is a way of not saying, this is what I do, and this is, and I think you should go talk to this person. They're asking me to go talk to Ron. Yeah, I'd be very happy for you to go talk to Ron. Okay. And so you can, this whole thing is about selling. The active activity of making the sale happen. If we're looking at a funnel, this is about taking somebody from the top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. My goal is to meet with somebody seven times during this show. Somebody who I'm really interested in, I'll accidentally bump into them at lunch, I'll accidentally bump into them at dinner, I will talk to them after the sessions, go to every single session. The one-on-ones -on -ones are fantastic, okay? But they're only a small part. You're gonna spend 20 hours with that person and 20 minutes in a one-on-one. -on -one. You need to take advantage of those other 19 hours. You need to see the things that they're seeing. You need to interact with them. You need to ask them questions. You need to learn about them. You need to do all of that to make it happen. And if you have your references on site, if they can talk to a neutral third party or to one of your customers on site, that builds a lot of trust. If they can see that you care about the industry and you're asking good questions, that builds credibility. Right? If they can meet you at the, at the networking break and you're talking, that builds authenticity. When you're trying to build all of these things down your funnel, you can do those all here in two and a half days. But you can't do them by accident. And if all you plan, I talk to people all, you know, who say, oh, I know exactly what we're doing in our 20 minutes. What are you doing for the other 19 hours? You need to have a plan for what you're doing for those 19 hours and being on the phone, talking to your office, not being there is not in the cards. This is a working show. This is a working sales show to be able to get things through. So every seven in the morning to 10 at night, you're working. You do that, you'll have success. Most of my largest clients have come from Marcus Evans. I have, I have captured things that I would not have been able to capture outside of Marcus Evans. There's no reason a company my size should be servicing a Fortune 50 company. I found them here at Marcus Evans, a top bank, a top insurance company. Got them all here, but you have to work it. It's not magic.